The Bayou Barbecue Bash is underway under the bridge in Morgan City. The Friday and Saturday event pits some great barbecue chefs in several categories. We have been barbecuing, my wife and I, Bill Gessel from the Smokehouse. Bill and I started out a number of years ago because both of us cook. We cook for American Legion, BMW, Toys for Tots, and we said, well, he said, I found a barbecue, but let's go see what they're doing. So we went to Mobile to an event, and we sampled some of what they had over there and said, just talked among ourselves and said, I think we can cook this good. So the following week, we had never cooked in a competition. The following week, we cooked in Hammond, 52 teams. We ended up 26th overall and 7th at Brisket. So we was hooked. The bass seems to be getting bigger. More than 50 teams signed up this year, and the number might have been more. We had 57 teams. We had four that had to drop out because one was had to, we had deaths in a family. One had surgery. Another was part of the police officer unit that was they had the burial. They're having it burial there in Baton Rouge. So if it hadn't, we would have had well into the 60s because every time one dropped, a new one came in. Then we have 19 kids cooking. 11 of those kids are 12 and under. Barry Walker runs a Cajun themed catering service in Loganville, Georgia. He and son Jalen pulled their rig into Morgan City for their first entry in the Bayou Barbecue Bash. Some of my friends and family had asked me to uh, come down and participate in the event, and I've been hesitant about it, but now I, I said I'm going to come on down and give it a shot. I'm doing the brisket, I'm doing the spare ribs, and the chicken. At this level, some chefs want to depend on more than charcoal briquettes. I go with the natural wood, yes, no charcoal. Well, actually, I use charcoal to get it started and, and go from there with wood. No propane or anything like that. If you want to go into big time barbecue, get ready to commit a bunch of time and maybe a bunch of money. You want to get into barbecue big time? Well, you need something like right here is an old Hickory Tribecta. That right, that machine right there, the guys who cook on those, it's about a $4,000 piece of equipment. Of course, you, now you're looking at the big rig like this, but they have to, these guys will start cooking, they'll be here all night. My wife, old, the youngest son will be cooking next door here. They'll be sleeping beside the pit in a chair and they will cook all night. So you have to be ready to put the time in. You have to be ready, and, and you can do old barrel cookers. You can cook on, on Weber grills. You can cook, it's whatever you feel comfortable cooking on. You can cook, it's long, you, you're cooking the oldest, it's the oldest form of cooking there is, as near as you can get over, over a bonfire.